everyone, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts, Arne and Carlos, and this is episode 10 of our series, Norwegian Craft Traditions. Um, and we've come to poetry and music and knitting as well. <laughs> There's going to be lots of knitting today. And we have a great guest today, uh, Kiv Ristad. You are um, a singer, folk yes. singer, yes. and a resident. Uh, you live not far away from, from here? No, uh, Stange. Stange. Yeah, with um, uh, Mjösa. Yeah, yeah. We're practically neighbors. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are practically neighbors, but Kim is originally from Sattestal, yeah. and um, we wanted to do this uh, video uh, when we were in Sattestal. Unfortunately, uh, our schedules uh, were not compatible. Uh, we were there at a time when you were busy doing concerts or um, things like that. Yeah. Mm. And uh, <laughs> so we kind of crossed uh, roads in a way. Uh, we were there uh, and then we came back and then you went. And I think you've just come back from Sattestal? Yes, I came back uh, yesterday recording a new album. So cool. um, yeah. Lots well, to good. do. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, or is it a secret? Uh, no, no, it's not a secret. Uh, it's uh, traditional folk music from uh, my area, Sedstal, and uh, I think I recorded twelve songs, yeah. both solo, a cappella, and uh, with some musicians. Oh wow! So it will be. I think it will be really great. Yeah. yeah, sounds great. Yeah. Uh, you heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when is the uh, release? Uh, I think it will be released uh, early next year. Oh, mm. okay, yeah. So yeah. still uh, some time to go. Yeah, twenty-two. Uh, yeah, twenty-two. Mm. Cool. And you're ori you're originally from your your last name is Ristad, and Arne and I we spent uh, some time in uh, Ristad. That's actually where where we stayed mm. while we were uh, recording in Sattestal. Mm -hmm. I think um, we actually stayed very close to your father's house. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it we, was we know right where, over the road. So yeah, we from, know where uh, he lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So your your last yeah. name is the same name as the as the place. town. Yeah, yes. the place. Just mm -hmm. like Arne's uh, grandmother from Sattestad, her name was uh, Torbjörg Heistad, mm -hmm. and uh, she was from a little place called Heistad in uh, Big Lund. We think. Yeah. We think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we know. We know. Yeah. <laughs> So, but you grew up with music in your family? Or? Yes, uh, yeah. uh, my brother was a great uh, folk singer and learned from other great folk singers in my area and I hated it. <laughs> 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 so I grew up listening to my favorite uh, Whitney Houston and uh, Dolly Parton oh, and uh, cool. other singers, but I hated folk music. I would, uh, if I got a fiddle in my hands, I would crush it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play the fiddle no, later? No, no. I tried, but uh, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't you didn't start very well with uh, with your folk music career. No, then. not at all. I started because we got asked by our parents to do it when we, I was ten. Oh. Uh, so I had some lessons, but I stopped because I didn't like it at all. So, so. your parents were also singers. No, no? but uh, my on my mother's side, there's a lot of poets and singers and fiddlers, and so my. Um, relatives uh, is uh, or generations uh, yeah. behind yeah. there's a lot of music well that's what we actually noticed when we went to Sattestal. Um wherever we went and whoever we spoke to it mm. wasn't it wasn't like one generation we were talking about you know two generations three four i yeah. mean even up to 12 generations the um the family of silversmiths mm. that we um, talked to uh, they had been uh, they, they had silversmiths on both sides of their family tree for 300 years yeah. so so it seems to be uh, something very common uh, yes. among among the people of set to this is what I find interesting with genealogy because if you look at your roots and you go back in time you can actually see that a lot of people have the same job as mm. you have or the same yeah. interests and I think yes. it's very good example in set then and everybody knew how to do something, some of it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in the in the family, someone was a silversmith, someone was a poet, or yeah. some, and everybody worked. So it wasn't like they could be a singer. They had to work at the farm as well, yeah, yeah. and so mm. everybody sang and every go, everybody uh, wrote. did wrote. Yeah. Can I say? Yes. Yeah, wrote uh, lyrics, uh, yeah. and so there's a lot of these staves. Uh, Nye Stev's mm -hmm. uh, four-line verse, mm -hmm. about 40,000, uh, wow. is collected, and there's still more. Not, so, uh, so. so a stev is like a short 
yeah. poem. Yeah. And it's sung. Yeah. My grandfather, he didn't like to sing, so he just read them aloud. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so, but uh, I sing them. Yeah. Oh, so uh, <laughs> you, you said you, you, yeah, if you say you sing them, um, I think we're going to have to make you sing one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can do that. Um, Den lille jenta med Rålandstrøm, dig det hus som vi er i vejne på dig. Hun er så spredt om de glade kort, hender måle vejner elfile lort. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fantastic. I think I understood, I understood it, it actually. Yeah. There was yeah. one word I couldn't get. She, uh, oh. uh, it was a girl who... With the red hair? Uh, she wove? Yeah, she was... A, she was a weaver? Yeah, and she made uh, very beautiful... Bands. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and she was very happy. Yes. And she was... Something was nicer than the sound of the fiddle or something. Yeah, her, her speech, also her dialect oh, yeah, was, was prettier nice. than... The music. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about the the stev. How I mean, you said forty thousand, mm -hmm. and um, is it a was it an oral tradition? Yes. Uh, so there was not nothing written down. No, every everything is uh, um, orally. Yes, so from generation to generation, yeah, and uh, uh, there's. Um, about 30 to 40 different melodies for this new stev, which is uh, typical for my area. Mm -hmm. And there's also something called gamle stev or old stev. And this, uh, this, uh, that tradition or goes back to Hovamål. I'm okay, not sure. Okay, so That's the, like uh, Viking, Viking age. Back or yeah, or medieval. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the so sagas. Yes. Yes. So there's, uh, mm. it goes a long way back. Mm. Yeah. And it's still a living tradition in Rista and Setstal. Wow, mm. that is so cool. That's incredible. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry. No, I, I just uh, thought about it. It's so when you think about it, it's kind of great to be part of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm I'm now learning a lot uh, to other people, yeah. and I have students. And oh, really? So you have students also? Yes. Yeah. So. It's great to be part of that. Yeah, that's mm. really. I'm fantastic. very curious about what happened to your brother. He was singing before, <laughs> and yeah. you didn't like it. Now you sing. What? Yeah, is no, he it, still singing or? Yeah, sometimes yeah. I won't allow him oh. too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want competition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he's uh, he's a really great singer still. Yes, yeah. and but he found uh, the uh, mouth harp or juice harp, yeah. okay. and he plays that and enjoys that more. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's funny though how you. As a child, you hated it. You just didn't want to do it. Mm. Um, I, I'm sure, for, you know, you had your reasons for hating it. And then, and then from one day to another, <laughs> I mean, you are on on big stages uh, around in Norway. Uh, you've done the Eurovision Song Contest a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, two years ago, you were you were singing for the entire Norwegian population on Saturdays in the um, in the Stjernekamp competition, uh, yeah. a very popular. Um, Music competition so here cool. with all established yeah. artists yeah. Yes. who do, do different genres, and then they try they yeah. try something they don't know actually. Yeah. And like you almost you won. To sing opera. Yeah, yeah. I got. Uh, I won the second place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were voting for you. So, <laughs> so what happened? What happened from from you know being very reluctant to uh, to even you know sing and until now? <laughs> yeah, but I I think. Um, for the, I've always been singing, but I used to sing pop music and uh, classical music a lot mm -hmm. when I started to learn music. I've, um, but then I, I worked at this um, folk music quite a, uh, ar archive, folk music mm. archive. Oh, you have that, yeah. Yeah, uh, for 10 months. And there was, uh, I digitalized the old uh, recordings. Mm. And there was uh, some of these big tapes, um, yeah. Yeah. and uh, one of the women who sang there was uh, Birgit Rikelund from Walle, uh -huh. mm. and she was singing very high and with this gorgeous voice, and and she was singing uh, uh, verses from my grandfather, wow, uh -huh. great grandfather, uh, who was a good poet. Mm. And then uh, I just, oh my God, this is my stuff. 
it's my family it's and your heritage yeah, yeah and so uh, nice. it was uh, very special so i had a yeah. op opening <laughs> yeah. and then and that. then and then i think you you must yeah you must have realized that this is something i need to take care of yes. and and pass to a new generation yeah but uh, it took some time before i got into it but uh, there's not so many male folk singers mm. and since i'm uh, quite good <laughs> <laughs> uh, <You're> great. <laughs> <laughs> i got a lot of jobs and uh, and and it builds and it builds and it builds. and i got to be on the eurovision norwegian version and um i've done really many extreme things yeah. but the uh, stjerne comp the, was very that's yeah. big yeah that's big yeah, that's, that's huge huge yeah so we were so worried about you because <laughs> every time we meet someone or we get to know an artist and they show up in stjerne comp they they're out after one yeah. so we were very worried about <laughs> so, you. Uh, and when you came we're thinking oh hope we didn't what you call that jinx him jinx him because uh, we met him yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you went all the way to the end so that was so, yeah. actually that's the first time it happened yeah. <laughs> it had to it had to be a set to stir yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely <laughs> um, but if we go back to the stab um, i'm mm -hmm. very curious about the lyrics or the um, is it about, uh, I mean, can it be about anything? Yeah. Uh, yeah? So uh, there's uh, nothing it can't, uh, you can't tell. Uh, so there was this woman who was really happy with her new uh, kitchen plier, the Kenwood <laughs> machine. <laughs> and she made a stave about her Kenwood. Okay. Oh. I'm not, I don't know you the don't lyrics. Do that one. No. No. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so, or, but the most of them are about love, especially uh, the mountains, the nature, birds, uh, everything. And, and, yeah. Yeah. and then daily things like. Yeah. Uh, and the th thing about uh, new stave is it's often uh, me, about me, what I feel. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, um, working. Yeah, so uh, so th it's very direct. Yeah. If mm -hmm. I love you, I would say that directly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if there's someone I don't like, I would say you that would say as that well. Also. Yeah, <laughs> nice. uh, and um, but it's uh, it's really great uh, tradition. Yeah. And I used uh, used to uh, I write a lot of them. The small verses to people when it's their birthday, oh, or okay. uh, instead of making some cheesy poem yeah, yeah. Like or speech yeah. yeah so i sing yeah and i uh, send text messages with the uh, lyrics and sing it to them this is very like almost like viking style yeah when you think about the runer yeah when you find these written things carved yes the viking with the viking letters they also have these things they say things about other people sometimes. yes mm. so it's a link there uh, probably yeah. and uh, but i i really like them and since I, there are so many different melodies, you can vary it a lot. Mm. And so, do you have anything about knitting? I do actually, but oh, then really? I, uh, <laughs> I need to use my phone for the lyrics because I don't know oh, it without. Bring it up. Yeah, yeah. It yeah you can't. You can't <laughs> memorize forty thousand of them. No. So, so, yeah. <laughs> so I found this one. Uh, I got it, fuck, uh, in fact, from Anne Morsunbe yeah. some years ago, and uh, but she, I never. Did she? Um, she must have found it somewhere and then presented it to you. Yeah. yeah? So she sent this to me on a message. So uh, <laughs> that's very typical animal. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, if I s just sing it and then I can explain yeah. it yeah. afterwards. No, Louis takes pity me, tell a joy, mege so rede can moskan gloy me. For a fist a inky a spegle clort, so seir a ginky to speed a sword. <laughs> so uh, I think I understood it. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not so very difficult. But uh, I don't actually. know what that mirror had. Was there a mirror? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, when you look at the water, it's uh, like a mirror. Yeah. So spegle klart. Also, that's uh, oh, that's oh, what it's called. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's so uh, the thing is, if it's so dark that I uh, can't see what I'm knitting, mm. especially when I'm knitting black, oh. which was of course uh, often used for the lice. Yeah, yeah. lice sweaters. Sweaters. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, or 
A lot of people don't like that word, so it's dot sweaters. <laughs> no, you can't call it that. <laughs> no. It's from 1830. It has to be called <laughs> a nice sweater. against it. Yeah. Yeah. In Norwegian, that sounds oh, very strange. It's a uh, louse sweater. Yes. Yeah, it's louse perfect. Sweater, yes. yeah. so, uh, but it's cool, and uh, I love that uh, Annemur sent me this mm. little verse. Was that for that uh, knitting symposium? And I, mean, I, th I think it was uh, earlier, earlier than that, yeah. but uh, uh, we met there, yes. I think it was the second time we met. Yeah. Mm. I think the second time. Yeah, yes. the first one was at a Christmas market in Buxta. Yes. And yeah. the second time was at the symposium that Anemora organizes or organized in Sätestad, mm. uh, where we held the lecture as well, yeah. And we know you're a knitter. A good knitter. I, yeah, yeah, I try. You are a good knitter. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so we what, wanted... What came first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the music or the knitting? No, the, the music. Yeah. I've always been singing, so yeah. that was... Uh, it's always been part of me. But uh, the knitting came... Um, yeah, first, I did the crochet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a neighbor of mine who had a crocheted hat or a beanie. And I just loved it. Loved it. And I, how, where did you get it? <laughs> And so he, sh uh, he said, uh, well, I made it myself. And what? Yeah. So I thought, if he can do it, I can. Yeah. So I went to YouTube and I learned yeah. uh, how to crochet. <laughs> and uh, so th then I did that for, I think, f five, five years before yeah. I dared to knit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but then I discovered you guys. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, this uh, Christmas balls. Yeah. So and so, uh, and uh, the set stall book. Yeah, mm -hmm. you had the sweater. Yeah, yeah. Um, we want actually we wanted to honor you and wear the loose kofta, yeah. the nice sweater. But, <laughs> but we uh, only had one. And no, one yeah, unfinished. I, well, that 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 yes, but also because when we were in Sattestal, they lent us some the husliden, and, mm. and we actually ordered them. And if Arne didn't change the colors of the embroidery. <laughs> Uh, I want to be special. I want to have something. I know. Personal. So because of that, they're <laughs> delayed. So we won't get them for a few weeks. But I did find this. Actually, yeah. it's. Um, I would. I would say it's um, kind of like a, a re a reinvented version of the of the uh, Lusa Kufta. Yeah. Um, mm. It's still um, maybe a little more modern uh, than yes. the traditional. And and of course, because we don't know how to do the Lusum embroidery. Um, there's no embroidery no, on ours. But you don't need that. No, no. I think it's... Um, no, you don't actually need it. No. But, but you know, we wanted to have... Uh, the real stuff. The real stuff. Yes, uh, yes. So. I, I do have one, actually, but it's not put together, or what you call it. Yeah, sewn um, together. But yeah. you, you made it, or...? No, this one is... Um, uh, what are they? Machine... Machine made. Machine yeah, it's made. Hand -loomed. Hand -loomed. Uh, yeah. It's in a hand machine made in... Um, so I had totally forgotten it, and my husband said, well, do you, you do know you have one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because so, I asked you, do you have one? Yeah. And you go like, no. No, no. <laughs> you have to sew it together. Yeah, but I, I don't know how to do it, because... Um, well, so look, they have marked the center from. Yes. But I, I think this was so strange, and it's knitted together I think already. I, I think I understand, because they, maybe they want you to s take the sewing machine and do a zigzag yeah. Yeah, around cut it. this. And then you can open it, and then you can probably put, put it the on. Panel, the, yeah, and then but put the... And then you can decide the... Yeah, yeah. no, but Arne, Arne, this one has a fabric. Yeah, so this is probably for the, fo the so traditional yeah, one. So yeah, so there should go a panel here and here, and then <laughs> on that panel you do the embroidery. Yeah. So, uh, are you going to do the embroidery? Uh, no, <laughs> but my husband is probably. Mm. He he tried one and he's made from. He, um, he got one of these uh, made and he did the embroidery for that one. Mm. Oh, so, so he's a. Um, can we order from him? <laughs> 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 yeah, or if not, you can order from my mom. Yeah, <laughs> oh, she's also... Uh, yeah, she, because you told me that she made him a folk costume. Yeah, so she the, made yeah. mine as well. Uh, so yeah. when, but yeah. that's uh, 10 years so more th since. But then when we married uh, in 2019, she made one for my husband. Mm. Nice. That's so nice. That is nice. Yeah. Yeah. And, and considering considering how much uh, they cost, if you have Who's Frieden make them, it's a good <laughs> choice <laughs> if you know somebody who can do yeah. it because the pr the price does go down. Uh, Arne and I, we are making our own as well, mm -hmm. uh, Gudbrandsdalen. So it's a little so bit more simple. There's no embroidery, uh, thank God. <laughs> so you need uh, a sewing machine, Kim. Yeah. yeah. So I do, my last one uh, actually burnt. There was a flame and... Oh. So that was kind of scary. You made this one also? <laughs> yes. So and this one you have 
you did the sticking, the cutting and everything. Yeah, so you and know. it was actually this uh, sweater. Oh. Uh, when so, um, yeah, so this is a, let's just uh, recap what this is. Uh, you're wearing a very special sweater. It's a uh, Cortina. Cortina, uh, yes. I yeah. think. From 1956. Yeah. Uh, it was designed uh, by uh, Bitten Eriksen, um, a well-known knitting designer at the time, mm. for the Olympics in yeah. Cortina. Yeah. Um, and it is actually, it's very inspired by Satastal. Yes. Uh, yes. But what she's done that is different is she's enlarged. She simplified the pattern. There's less... There's less design on it, and mm -hmm. the X and the O is larger, and there's no lice no, on it. But that was uh, no, that's uh, the, it's, yeah. but I was thinking about doing that to this, yeah. making the lice, but then I thought, no, yeah. <laughs> takes more the, time. Yeah, but on the more told is that there were set of stars that are without lice, also. Yes, yeah. so and some of these are uh, they use white down, yeah, because mm. that was in the boon, not yeah. in yeah. the costume that's what for costumes. He ordered. Yeah. yeah, I ordered the cla the antique yeah. style, so I have I, I, mine is gonna get the uh, the the white. Yeah. Yeah. I see you done the old fashioned rib. That's the rib my grandmother always made. Yeah, I learned uh, this is uh, my quite uh, also uh, quite uh, Svigermor. Svigermor, yeah. mother mother in law. Mother -in -law. My mother in law. She is uh, and her daughter my. Sister-in-law yeah. said that I had to do these kind of That's, ribs. It's and, a beautiful uh, one. It's a yeah. pearl and a knitted, uh, knit, uh, knit stitch knitted in the back loop. Yeah. We call it vrid. Yeah. A twisted. Knit and stitch. Uh, since then, I've always done it. Yeah, I because love they're this. so more elastic yes. and they go back. Like and I think it's kind of like a plette. Yeah. Like a, yeah, like a little braid. Yeah. Yeah. It's and I think it's so cute. And you have that also <laughs> in your socks because I'm doing the satastal socks now and there's That's like great. those twisted stitches yeah. all over and you know it's so easy <laughs> to not make it twisted and yeah. then you can actually see that you make a mistake. Yeah. And they're really nice. Mm. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's a really great cup. Um, absolutely. It's one I I like that too. Actually yeah. I like that better than the one that I have the the yeah. Two dicks, yeah, two but pearl. Th that's. I think this is also very nice when you have this two and two. two, and two yeah. It is, yeah. Um, but but that's actually much. There's more more um, depth in that yeah. one. Yeah. This one from the Husfrid has the on on the arms, but not on the body. Yeah. What did that I do on mine? Can uh, maybe they actually don't belong to the same body. It can be two. Oh yeah. <laughs> so maybe that was because it was cheap. I did one <laughs> knit and one pearl, and then I made a shorter mm. rib. Yeah. So, but this is the one I'm going to change. This one had a boat neck, <gasps> so it was very open. So I just took it out, and now I'm going to sew them together again. So I have like something to put my head in. Yeah. yeah. And then I will stick it, sew and cut it open, and make a jacket. Yeah. You know what happened to this one? It shrinked in the yeah. in the closet. In the closet. So okay. I can't get it on. I can't get it on, <laughs> but it's a little bit tight around. Yeah. Arnie knitted that about 40, <laughs> 40 years 40 ago. Years wow. Ago in the 80s and wow. uh, and then it ended up in a <laughs> closet and when he took it out something happened and it had just shrunk so it was by not me. it was no me. no, no. Yeah. so by opening it by opening it hopefully he'll he'll get a little more volume so you yeah. can yeah. actually wear it could i do this with that also uh, to make it into a jacket sure. you can just open yeah. it all the way down and then you knit those plaques yeah, like yeah. i think that's it. really scary no <laughs> no just this, i i normally do a zigzag and then i do a straight seam on top Okay. So what we recommend, and then you have another seam when you sew the placket on. So there's no chance yeah. it will. No. So what we recommend, don't do it on this one first. If you have a a really ugly, old sweater, maybe you you know if you redecorate your house and we're painting, yeah. and, or you know, old sock. What, yeah, or an old sock. Do it on that. <laughs> okay. Try the technique yeah. first. Yeah. And uh, because, you know, you don't want to do it here. You don't want to ruin this. You're no. not going to ruin it. No, but, no. But if people have that fear, and. Um, we say it's easy when you know how to do it. So all you need to do is do it mm. once or twice, and then you will be able to do that. I thought I, I did it here. I cut this one yeah. down and and used the sewing machine. You and should be um, happy with that. It's, it's, yeah. it looks very good. <laughs> I tried. The first uh, one I did was orange, bright orange, and it did not look this pretty. I don't have that sweater with me. But, mm -hmm. um, what? What but this one is uh, very well made. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but what's on your needles now? Uh, now you have something uh, on the needle. Oh yes, always. Yeah. <laughs> always. Um, 
I did actually start, uh, I've knitted some, uh, a lot of these, uh, Ankers Treje. Oh. So this is for my husband. And nice. he wanted, of course, something else. Yeah, uh, so I added this uh, to the sleeve. Yeah. So it should be like this all the way, or, but only the one. Oh. So it's kind of design feature. Uh, and you have your own label. Yeah, I bought those, and oh, I thought nice. it was really cool. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I want this. This is really nice. Yeah, Flötre design. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so and this, uh, I started to make one for myself. In uh, it looks a bit like this color, but uh, that one is in my house in Sweden. So then I found it. I always have a lot of uh, goings on. Yeah, that sounds and, familiar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I found since I was uh, traveling to. Um, to you, I found, found this well, one. That's a nice pattern. Oh, Is that's that nice. Valdres? That's what Valdres, uh, yes. We have the pattern. Yeah, and so, for, the, for um, our viewers, uh, Valdres is where we are right now. We live yeah. in Valdres. Yeah. So. And this pattern is called Valdres. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, of course, I had to, I didn't want to use the regular colors. No, no. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I've uh, done a little about uh, something here about uh, from um, on the body too. Mm. Yeah, um, that's nice. But that's a good thing with knitting. You can actually change. You can use whatever you want. Yeah. Mm. So, so, um, nice. so this is now what I knit. Mm, very nice. And you're almost yeah. finished. Yeah, but I think it's been in my closet for two years. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. We had things being <laughs> lying around for forty years. Yeah. But more. Yeah. <laughs> but like it's this. great to have <laughs> these things and just uh, travel from house to house and have one project here and one there. Yeah. And yeah. Mm. You need to have everything. Yeah. Like, but we we have actually met some other musicians who also knit yeah. or do crochet. We have a lot of, yeah, we have a lot of, uh, we know a lot of musicians who do that. Uh, it helps them focus, I suppose. Yeah, I started, uh, the one of the reasons I started to crochet or knit uh, was because I traveled a lot with by mm. train or uh, and instead of listening to music or watching movies, yeah. mm. I, had to do something yeah, yeah. and uh, so that was yeah we met we met a leading opera singer uh, in denmark in copenhagen mm -hmm. she uh, she had leading roles at the opera and sometimes she wasn't there for one a full act so what she'd do is she'd sit and, hit, <laughs> and listen to yeah. the music yeah, yeah. This, this helped her focus mm -hmm. and yeah. then and then when it's time for her to sing she lets her leaning down and she goes and she does her aria and then yeah, yeah. it's yeah. and it's a great for me also it's a great uh, way to relax yeah and when i'm and uh, doing these i can also rehearse mm. uh, yeah, of course, yeah. my lyrics or um sometimes i sing and oh there's a new melody yeah. mm. so uh, so composing as well yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so cool. but it, i think it's because it just relaxes me and yeah. then i mm. don't think so much yeah. yeah so it's actually very relaxing yeah, it's yeah. Like, so but some, sometimes like if we, if we knit on something and we have deadlines mm -hmm. sometimes i put on like disco or techno or something that's really <laughs> to knit yeah. faster, faster. Yeah. and actually yeah. i knit faster it works yeah, yeah. It works. It works. <laughs> cool. So uh, we'll try that next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you do the stevia, it's probably slower. Yeah. Yeah. The more the like this. <laughs> so speaking speaking about writing lyrics, you just released a song not very long ago called Gufa. Yes. And our re our our viewers have already heard Gume. Gume yeah. Because of Gume's hus, and Gume means uh, grandmother in uh, the Setestal dialect, and Gufa is grandfather. Yes. Goofy. So you s you released a song about your grandfather. Yes. And that's on the new record. No, that's just a single. Just a single. Yeah. So we won't be on the record. No. No. Uh, because that was a kind of um, bestillingsverk. Um, it's order. Uh, yeah. It's uh, kind of commissioned, commissioned work. Commissioned yes. work. Yeah, yeah. For uh, Ninos Kulturcentrum. Oh, nice. And uh, it was my first commissioned song. Yeah. So uh, it wasn't uh, really planned to release it, but then it turned out great in the studio and. We put oh, it out, so cool. and it's. I, th I think it's nice to that my grandfather has a song. Yeah. It, absolutely, <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> you know what's so. funny though? When when uh, when the song came out, um, it wasn't very long after we went to Sakistan, no, and we were sitting with Anemur in um, in Use, and uh, she was showing us uh, her collection of. Uh, yeah of traditional Elias sweaters. That's true. And we saw Gufar's sweater 
I think your, it was my great grandfather, probably. That was your great grandfather's yeah. sweater, yeah. So it was even one older. So one yeah. even yeah, older, because yeah. Because you said that you tried to make that one. Yeah, but actually, I tried to make um, uh, my gr grandfather's sister's uh, lice sweater mm. yeah. because she used a lot of patterns all the way. Oh. Uh, and she she said, uh, "I just use whatever I feel like." Mm. But was it still in in this style? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, but uh, just Always. more uh, more um, pattern. Or? So this area he here is almost gone because she used oh cool so many of the other things. Mm. And um, but I started that and it turned out very big. <laughs> <laughs> so it was uh, one of my first project and uh, w uh, knitting. So uh, I, it turned out. I think it's a pillow. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah, we yeah. did ask you to bring you, uh, yeah, you, to bring his sweater because Anemur said that you were knitting it. Yeah. Uh, but now it's a pillow. Yeah, I think. But I did bring my first sweater I ever knitted, and oh. this was this one, and it's so it's I knitted well, that, it. That's nice. It's like a Viking. <laughs> yeah, that's very no, nice. <laughs> this is a skapelgense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks like the Vikings. Oh yeah, I so, remember <laughs> this one. <laughs> so I knitted this for my mother some uh, some years ago. Mm. Yeah, that was easy. Just yeah, knit. but uh, for me it was uh, terrible to even make it. That was a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a really so, good start. <laughs> but one of the first projects I ever knitted was one of yours. Yeah. Um, this. Um, yeah. The other, yeah. You, was it the this one or the yes. other one? Yes. No, this one. Yeah. Yeah. But the, uh, the draft uh, yeah. stopper. The, yeah. But I think it was kind of it, it, it stopped, stopped a there. Bit earlier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and it was uh, larger needles, needles mm. and, so it's and, bigger. Uh, yeah, it's a great you know. But th th this is a very smart th thing you did because if it's the first time you did uh, the color work uh, yeah. technique, yes, it's really quick because you're knitting this on the round, and um, it's actually not that many stitches on the width, <gasps> so it goes very fast. Yeah. And this mm. you know when you start here. By the time you get here, you're an expert in the color yeah, work. So that shows on my work too. I can imagine. A lot of, uh, <laughs> of these are j without some of them. and uh, But it's it was a start and I'm, yeah. I do have it but you uh, know, still. I've been knitting since forever and that still happens to me. Yeah. But I do, I take a yarn and a needle and I do a duplicate stitch. Yeah. I fake it. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes you're not focused no. and it's so easy to miss the stitch. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world. No, it's not. And uh, that's one uh, thing. I this one also. I'm not sure if this is the right side, but no, this don't one show it to you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, mm, Arne and Carlo said it's just charming. Yeah, yeah it's so charming. It's, uh, yeah, it's, that's my sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's your design now. <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, <laughs> so, I wonder if I did that when I made this one. I haven't checked. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I missed But it. let's put it this way. The other day, uh, I was uh, watching TV, um, and suddenly I turn around and I look at Arna, and he's doing this with his, uh, with his sock, mm -hmm. the sock that he's knitting from Satistal. And uh, he was very upset because he'd made a mistake. Oh, yeah. And I asked him, <laughs> where is the mistake? And he points it out. I can't see it. No, no but so that's because there are those uh, stitches knitted in the back loop, yeah. which is so easy to miss. Yeah. But those socks, they have so many. Yeah. So, so now he has... A, soon to have a pair of charming socks yeah, yeah. but it's if, for me that was a really great thing because uh, i was so afraid when i started knitting that everything would be wrong and but then when you said that yeah. you just yeah, it's there's charming no, yeah. there's no right or wrong no either. but that helped me to just knit mm. and I think continue that, you think the same technique would help us to be singers yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> but then you wouldn't have me as your teacher because I'm f too strict. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So well, we don't sing often. But if so. we're if we're nice to you, you have to be nice yeah. to us. Yeah. Of course, I would say everything's perfect. <laughs> Everything. Go out yeah, and then, compete. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and make a fool of yourself. <laughs> no. How, how about um, other people in your in your family who have uh, been? Um, uh, involved in uh, in this tradition, do you have um, any particular um, ancestors uh, who um, made it kind of in, in you know the way you've done or in as other a singer? You yeah, think? or as a poet. Uh, my great grandfather he published uh, some books, oh. and uh, uh, there is uh, this one guy in my f uh, he was. Uh, 
He, he was my grandfather's cousin. He's your grand uncle. Yeah, my grand uncle. Uh, he or uh, no, your grandfather's brother. No, like grandfather's cousin. Yeah, cousin. Grand my grandfather. This is more or less cousin. like Arne is related to Anne Moore. It's like yeah. we, don't, we don't understand <laughs> it, but they are. And yeah. it's harder to say it in English. Yeah, yeah. terrible. So, but no. at least one of my relatives. Yeah, yeah that's Let's better. call him your great granduncle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he went uh, from Rista or to America, or to Canada, to Canada. Yeah, they said Canada. Canada, yes. Canada. <laughs> so Canada is the way to pronounce Canada in Setestad. Yeah. Yeah, at least the old people do yeah, it. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> uh, he went to the to Canada, and um, he, um, I think, he missed Setstal and Ristad a lot. Yeah. So uh, when he was there, he used uh, he translated the staves, the old uh, lyrics, uh, to from Norwegian to American. Oh. Wow. And uh, there is a book uh, he he released. I, I'm not sure if he lived then, but uh, mm. he, it's it was published in the 70s, I think 75, huh. with a lot of his translations. And that you can get that in Canada, or is it? I'm not sure no? where you can get it. I got it from uh, a fiddler at home, okay. so uh, mm. he had right. some uh, some um, maybe copies. maybe your copies, uh, yes. yeah. Yeah. maybe your relatives sent them, probably. Mm. But or, uh, or or his family, if he was not. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not sure because I didn't know about the book mm. until, yeah, f maybe ten years ago. Yeah. So, but there's <laughs> um, some beautiful verses there, which originally is from my home place, mm -hmm. but now in. He translated. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So th that's a nice thing because. Uh, You've you've sang two for us now, yes. and uh, they're in Norway, uh, they're in in Satastal's, uh, dialect. Mm -hmm. uh, we understand them, and more we kind or less. of more or less, <laughs> and we kind of get we kind of get to this understanding of exactly what this kind of poetry is. Uh, but our viewers who don't speak Norwegian may be a little bit. Um, uh, curious to to understand a little more, and perhaps mm -hmm. do you have one? Yeah, I do, but I, I there's, oh, there's the book. The book. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really simple. Yeah. Can you say that? Yeah, Sim simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah like uh, Gunstein. So he was Gus. Yeah, he was called Gunstein Ristad, yeah. and uh, in Canada they Canada. called him Gus. Yeah, yeah. Gus, yeah. and still Ristad. Ristad. Yeah, or <laughs> Gus Ristad. 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 I'm not, so I'm you probably sure. have a lot of relatives. Yeah, maybe I they do. watch you now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he and he translated not only this um, uh, Niste, but uh, the whole of Tarje Vigen. Oh, that's um, oh, okay. And some um, well-known songs, uh, Norwegian songs, he turned into uh, American. And um, I think there's. I just have to find them. Here's some of them. Mm. Um, Can I sing two? Yeah. You can <laughs> sing as many <laughs> as you <laughs> want. <laughs> <laughs> because I, there's, uh, they, I think they're really good. And um, I've used them in some concerts, but I've never released them. So maybe that's my next next project. Yeah. Uh, really uh, and, and this will be perfect for our audience because they will be able to take part of this now. And yeah. Understand. So this is first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, the melodies, of course, are f traditional from my home place, but the lyrics are English. Mm -hmm. With tears I'll drench you from all my crying For this cold bed you gave me to lie in And tolling church bells shall ever let You know the angels do not forget I snap my fingers and toss my troubles into the wind as if empty bubbles and hum and whistle some catchy strain and in a little I feel no pain. Nice. Oh, <laughs> That's beautiful. Cool. Yeah. yeah. They're lovely. They're yeah, they are. These Irish feeling to yeah it. I, I I'm when you have I it agree. in English yeah know. it does yeah, yeah yeah you're right and they're like these little like in Norwegian you say gulkorn like these little 
snippets of gold. Like yes. Just and the, the thing about this newsdev is you have four lines and what you want to say, you have to say in these four lines. Yeah, you have to so comprim yeah. the melody. Comprim Compress. Compress. Yes. So what about, you said there are about 40,000 and how about the melodies? Are, there, um, are they fixed? I mean, how do you know which melody to sing or is it just instinct or how do you? Um, I, uh, when I learn a new melody, I connect uh, that melody to wow. uh, uh, that those lyrics. Ah. So, uh, so I have kind of a lyric and melody bank <laughs> written down for myself, and uh, now, of course, recordings. Mm. My using my phone all the time uh, to record. So I think I have almost thirty different melodies mm. to these small verses. But yeah. do you um, do you read up like? When you get a new verse, like when you read it the first time, mm -hmm. do you read it and then do you hear ki kind of the melody? Do you say it has to be this melody or is it? Sometimes I do that, but uh, often I try different mm. kind of uh, melodies because oh. when you know one of these melodies, you can sing all 40,000 on wow. the same one. Wow. So uh, <laughs> if cool. you know one of them or uh, it was really uh, some uh, years ago when uh, one of the singers at home knew maybe three or four different melodies. Mm. Uh, so it got kind of connected to one man. This yeah. is Olav mm. Bergstun or, yeah, or yeah. <laughs> Olav Jore or something like that. And that was his tune. Okay. Uh, but now in our days, we want to learn as many as possible. Mm. Yeah. So I have more melodies than they had before because I have all the technology to use yeah, it yeah. and better save them. Yes. So, um, I think you should do a record with all these English songs. Yeah, I, I thought about it. So <laughs> yeah. It's maybe. a good idea. Yeah. yeah, you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's so it's incredible. Really nice. It's um, It kind of, you know, like uh, we were talking about whether you would embroider that or not. The Leosam embroidery um, is kind of a, also very special in the sense that it's been passed from from generation to the generation, yes. the same way as the stab. And um, when you look at them, it's also like a little, there's a rhythm to the way they embroider. It's also like a little poem, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Each, each embroidery is, is yeah, even, unique. Even the sweaters, they had their own yeah. versions. Kind of, or yeah. kind of the farms had their yeah. kind of, this is exactly, what we use yeah. and these colors we like and mm. we use them. And so I think the music and the Knitting and the patterns are all connected yeah, it's, it's, somehow. Yeah, it's like a fit. Yeah, everything everything is part of the same thing. Yes, in a way. <laughs> and um, we know a lot about the Lyosum embroidery from spending time in Sattestal, um, and we know that um, to make them, uh, the embroiderers, they you know there were a lot of rules yeah. uh, for what you could and couldn't do, but at the same time you were expected to improvise with colors and and the way you embroidered uh, you know it should be your own you make it your own and it's not very different from uh, music is it no no i do the same and uh, the ones i've learned from sing there the same smell sing, sing the same oh, sing <laughs> the same melodies uh, but i kind of uh, embroider some or use some other melisma yeah. or Krulle, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. as we say, um, <laughs> curls. curls, yeah, so in these melodies things, yes. and um, so the same, the same krulle that you find in this uh, beautiful embroidery yeah. uh, of Sattestal. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can always so find a link. Yeah, a li everything, yes. everything oh, is very, so very connected. Yeah, yeah. but it's, uh, nice. it's uh, different from everybody. Uh, we are different people, and I like uh, to use a lot of these melismas and. Mm -hmm. so but uh, then other do don't use anything at all. Mm. They just sing the melody kind of plain. Yeah. And, but I like to play a lot. It seems like the stave was good for the mental health. Because yes. they could put anything. Anything. <laughs> yeah. they could say out. it, they <laughs> could always sing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and get it out. Just yeah. as long as it was four verses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of them with uh, kind of uh, Hardcore lyrics. Yeah. Oh, yeah! I found one recently with uh, there was this um, 
she was really sad and she wanted to take her life oh. and she she made this lyrics to that she was going to out to the woods and mm. end it oh. so it's terrible but uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of uh, beautiful in in the same way because that was how they expressed their feelings yeah. through these lyrics and <laughs> when she was feeling that she wrote it I know you love Dolly Parton I love Dolly and Parton and talking about these <laughs> lyrics <laughs> it reminds me about songs that she made yeah. like the one the down one from she, Dover the, yeah and the one where she sings something like I don't want to throw the rice I just want to throw rocks at her yeah. or something when yeah. the girl married the man yeah, and Jolene who stole her man and <laughs> very similar of course but <laughs> <laughs> you can the, her music is very connected to the folk music yeah, from yeah. Norway so um, it's not so strange that I love no, her it's not, yeah. <laughs> no it's not and I now when you s s took the English one it's yeah. also it's kind of I felt it had this Irish vibe yeah. when you sing yeah. it and, and the, there's the, a lot of Irish also in the country music absolutely mix of Scandinavian music. I mean, I love her too, but I think I'm sitting with the two uh, hardcorest <laughs> hard fans hard Dolly of Dolly Parton. Parton in Norway anyway, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, because we, when, we when, when people got to know that we were doing this uh, Sattestal series, they called us from the local radio. And then she had read somewhere that, I, uh, that especially I love Dolly well, Parton. I, I do too. Yeah, but I'm I'm like hardcore. Yeah, and and then <laughs> she knew that we both loved because we always talk about Dolly Parton when we did our collections. Mm -hmm. We talked, we did the whole collection inspired of Dolly Parton once, and then she said she knew that you also were a fan. And on Stern Camp, mm -hmm. this competition on TV, you sang "Coats of Many Colors." Yes, and you did I think really every everybody cried. Yes. I think all of all, Norway cried. All of Norway <laughs> cried. We were crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Kim, we, uh, speaking, I mean, really, Dolly Parton, I think Arne wants to show you how hardcore of a fan but he I, is. I know he's a hardcore fan too. I, I don't think I can <laughs> impress him. Impress him. But I, I actually I took my Dolly Parton collection out just to show That's you. Perfect. Yeah, so I you, wait have, you to have look. to look through my yeah. Dolly Parton collection. <laughs> Because this is quite okay. something. And I love these albums. <gasps> wow. So this is the first one. It's all in vinyl. He also has them in CDs. Not <laughs> all of them. But, oh, uh, but I think I have this one. I think you have I all of them. No, the, probably you not. You had like over 60. Yeah. How many do you have? I don't know. I think I have 40 put, put them in on vinyl. The table. Let's see. <gasps> wow. So I love 9 to 5. Uh, Jolene. And this one. Here. Love is like a butterfly. Oh. This seat. one, I I don't think I have that. You don't one. have that one. Mm -hmm. She is a source look of. It, look out for it. She's definitely a source of inspiration for um, this, a she's lot so of. She's pretty there. Oh, yeah. this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, New this heart. one. I really wanted this one, and I found it in a used um, uh, sale, uh. and uh, I just had to go out to fetch my um, wallet. Uh. And, and when I came back, there was this man standing with it, and he bought no. it. Oh my god! I that was is... so angry. But you know yeah. what I, I, I? You know what I do? I have take I have taken pictures of all the records, and I have them on my phone. So when uh. I go other places like where there are vinyl yeah. shops, I look for them. That's a great idea. You can send me pictures. I can look for, for yeah. it for you. And this one, I love this. Yeah. Cover. And here you come again. It's yeah, here so you come good. again. This is so beautiful. <gasps> yeah. This one I don't have. Mm. So you, those are all the Porter Wagner. Uh, yeah. And Heartbreaker. Then she went more disco or pop. Yeah. But then I had this one. Oh, this is a special one. A vinyl. Wow. In pink. Look, it's beautiful. Yeah. But he told me that ABBA has coming the new ABBA yeah. uh, uh, music or record. There are different vinyls there and different covers. So, so and I, picture I discs a and <laughs> so Arne's gonna go shopping <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be expensive. Yeah. So this is. We well, have more. Yeah. You can. Look. Oh, and then we wow. have uh, we have some friends in we have some friends <laughs> in Los Angeles um, who are um, they work as costume wow. designers um, and they send Arne something very special. We actually haven't shared it with you guys yet because we actually wanted to do this uh, Kim with Kim here. here. But uh, we have a good this friend in LA. She's a costume designer. Okay. She works for movies and uh, in the eighties, uh, Dolly was doing a show. I think it was in Vegas. Um, I'm not sure though, so don't quote me on that. But Dolly was doing a show, <laughs> and it was going to be televised 
and uh, our friend made her dresses and she found these and said that Arne should have these. Yeah, so <gasps> thank you, Marilyn. We'll love it. Yeah. A little bit of Dolly for your collection. Wow. Happy birthday. Yeah, but yeah. you have to see what is there. So look at this. This is the, <laughs> this whole is the closest we've ever been to her. Yeah. Actually, she had a concert in Oslo and we stayed in Grand Hotel mm -hmm. because we heard that every artist stay in Grand Hotel. But she didn't stay there. Aww. We were supposed to. She we stayed were, in her bus. Yeah. We wanted to sleep under the same roof as Dolly Parton, <laughs> but she went into yeah. the bus and she went to Sweden. Yes. Look at this. So this is from Dolly Parton's outfits. Ooh, wow. Can you imagine how getting <laughs> this for your birthday? Yeah. I have to get it. Arnie was freaking out. <laughs> no, really, this is the closest we've ever been to her. Wow. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> as close to Dolly as I ever will be. <laughs> but you see, there are, the two of them are actually the same. <gasps> Well, you these were hanging from her dress. Yeah. You think Marilyn will mind if we give Kim one of them? What? But look, they are the, these are the same. I think it's a generous thing. I think that Kim would should be have, crazy. Yeah. have one of them in his... Uh, <laughs> this is holy. Yeah. Come on. I don't think Our Marilyn will grain. mind because there are two of them are actually the same. So I, I think you should have this one, Kim, in your collection. Are you You should for frame real? it, yes. And frame it. So the two, the two uh, biggest uh, Norwegian uh, Dolly Parton fans. You can sleep with it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> it could uh, be beautiful here. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you and you need some nice paper. But are you really sure? Yeah, because the, the, these two are the same. Yeah. They if they are. were three different, you would never have it. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you. Yeah, wow. that's uh, and that's the truth. <sighs> but you know, this will be framed. I will put them on velvet, and I will make like this pompous. Hmm. Frame. That's extreme. I think and, I'm and, going and, to paint. Yeah. No. And Marilyn <laughs> confirmed to us. Marilyn confirmed to us what we've known all along that she's an amazing person. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Very sweet. And if something says lovely. something different, I don't we, believe. No, it. no, no. No, of course it can't not. Be true. No, 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 no. So. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. I'm not thank sure you. how to. What you don't. To say. You, you, you can sing for us. Yeah, sing yeah. for your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, it's wow. been it's been a lovely time, um, and it, you know what? It's throughout this whole series. Uh, this is the tenth episode, so uh, we, and we've already done nine. Um, it's always been very sad every time we had to say goodbye, yeah. uh, because all the people that we've had in this uh, series have been so lovely, and we really didn't want it to end. Uh, but unfortunately, at one point, it does have to. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's been absolutely delightful to to have you here oh. today. But you don't have to leave. You can stay and you can walk. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll go and listen to... I think I have to, to look uh, uh, through all this again. Yeah. And you need to swim in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we need to listen to the Dolly Parton uh, and all of that. Um, but anyway, the, t the time with our viewers is, is unfortunately over now. Um, but it's been fascinating yeah, awesome. and interesting to learn more about uh, music and poetry in, uh, in Sattasal. And we really want to thank you so much for uh, taking time off your busy schedule to come here and, uh, and talk oh. to us and, and um, show people a little bit of, of your talent mm. uh, as, a, as a very talented person from Sattasal. Mm. And if you want to see more, if you want to see more of Kim's music, just go to YouTube and to the other one. What's that called? Sonos? No, it's Spotify. 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 Yes. <laughs> so can you tell everybody how to find you on social media? I do have an Instagram account, Kim Rista, and Spotify. Uh, there's uh, if it would be great if you follow me on Spotify. <laughs> yeah, follow him on <laughs> Spotify. Uh, and I have a website going up uh, yeah. really soon. Okay. Kimrista.no. Perfect. Uh, and of course, Facebook, as so we all have. And um, yeah. And you can buy the CD. I do have some CDs, yeah. yes. Uh, the real. You don't have vinyl yet. No. So, but that, <laughs> that will come in the future. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope to uh, maybe yeah. the next one. Yeah. Yeah. But so we will put link. Yeah. So there so will be links so you can find so Kim. To fi yeah, to find Kim, all you need to do is go down to the description down below <laughs> or go to our blog at arnecarlos.com. We've done a whole little uh, post on Kim and uh, we're linking to his Spotify, which you really do have to follow. We're linking to his Instagram, which is also really nice. And 
Yeah, and we'll add Facebook and your, and your website so that everybody can find him easily. Get his CDs, follow him on Spotify. And um, how about touring in America? Have you? I'd love to. Just call. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just call. You have that Norwegian uh, Hustfest in somewhere in yes. North Dakota. I Mine, would love you to. Go. I would love yeah. to. To you, Seattle. Yeah, you need to the go Nordic everywhere. Museum. We yeah. can go together. You can yeah. sing and we can knit. Yeah. Perfect. Knit and yeah. sing. Maybe Dolly comes. Yeah. <laughs> we can bring these uh, and <laughs> then she will come. Yeah. Take a selfie. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to hear one more uh, song uh, before we, we leave. Before mm -hmm. we do, though, um, Arne and I have to do the formalities. Yeah. Once we've done the formalities, we will leave uh, our, um, the remaining time to you so you can explain what you're going to sing and then uh, sing it. Mm -hmm. and we're very much looking forward to <laughs> you it. You think he can sing now after all this? Of course. <laughs> he has to, you know. <laughs> but don't do this. This will be. No, I'll, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you like our episodes, put your thumbs up, and if you're a subscriber, remember to put on your notifications, because then you get this message every time there's a new video out. And, and now we also have something new. Actually, there's a link now to the yarn that we use in some of our patterns from Roven, so you can actually get directly to the yarn. Yeah, so go to Arne, yeah, and all you need to do is go to arnecarlos.com slash yarn. And you can purchase your yarns from uh, directly from uh, our website, which also supports uh, the channel. Um, and what more? And get on the mailing list. And get on the mailing list, because then you will have news before other people. And sometimes you will have some good offers. And keep your eyes peeled. Christmas is coming. Yes, Christmas yes. is coming, uh, <laughs> as every year. It's been a pleasure having Kim here. Thank you so much for coming. It's been amazing uh, being able to record this series of 10 episodes and show it to the world. Um, and Arne, I have to say, I love, love, love sharing my platform and your platform with other people. It's nice to have guests. It's lovely to have guests, <laughs> and especially guests uh, as you. So, Kim, without further ado. Yeah, bring it home. <laughs> yeah. Take it away. Take it away. Yeah. Well, first, thank you for having me. Uh, it was a really great honor. Thank you for coming. Um, I will sing two verses with uh, it's called Gomblesde, mm -hmm. and it's the oldest material I have on my repertoire. Um, yeah, it's about uh, nature, mm -hmm. and uh, not uh, you can't trust everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of uh, double meanings okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Reven diltar jord i kring Och jag sen hoppar i ro Hon är inkelikt och gillar den mig Som allstöjt svårare med vrajer Gau kjenne grå, han gjel om våro. Olju i bere i veha i e. Ho er ikke likt å gilja den meg. Som er allstøyt svårer med vreie. Nice. Wow. You got it? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> really, really beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, see you. Bye. Bye. With tears I'll drench you from all my crying. For this cold bed you gave me to lie in. And tolling church bells shall ever let. You know the angels do not forget. I snap my fingers and toss my troubles into the wind as if empty bubbles. And hum and whistle some catchy strain. And in a little I feel no 